Hello and welcome to what could be a windy episode of Accessible Photography with Alistair MacDonald. Today we're on Loch Lomond again and going to be taking a photograph of a lone tree. But first of all, what I want to do is come and meet someone famous, somebody who was influential back when I was a lad on Scottish television. He ran a programme in his name and it was called Weir's Way and he used to walk through the, the highlands of Scotland, highlands and lowlands and coastal paths and introduce us all, putting this down, to the wonders of Scotland and he influenced an awful lot of people to get out and walk the countryside and people like himself to get out and take photographs of the countryside. So it's nice to meet Tom Weir. Unfortunately he died in 19... No, I didn't, in 2006. So here's the statue of Tom Weir. And it's a very accurate statue. I'm glad that it is. It's not one of these modern art things. It's very close to the reality. So this is Tom Weir's statue. And we are going to be photographing trees and Loch Lomond. at the lone tree on Loch Lomond, just north of Balmaha, where we were chatting to Tom Weir. And unfortunately, you could say the tide's out. Of course, it's a loch, so it's not tidal. Uh, it's been a very dry summer, so I'm guessing there's just less water in the loch, because the tree should be in the water. But we're going to take pictures anyway, and see what we get. Hopefully they'll come out fine. So anyway, Leslie's managed it all the way down from the car park without falling over. Excellent. She's not speaking to me. So despite the tree not actually being in the water anymore, I think there's an uh, opportunity for a few photographs here. I'm letting Leslie get the main, the main angle just now, you know, keeping Duke out of the way. But I'm looking over here at the rocks, at the, sorry, at the hills, I'm thinking the lake coming and going on that looks like it could be, could be worth a good image or two. It's very moody, almost dramatic in fact that weather coming through. Typical January weather to be honest. Uh, the light is quite good, the light's still low in the sky, the sun's low in the sky so you get a nice light even though it's the middle of the day. And I look at this tree and I think, yeah, I think I might get something with it. Not 100% sure what I'm going to get but I'm going to get something. So today I am going to be using grad grey and it is a 0.3 and the reason being is there's not a lot of difference to be perfectly honest but the sky is just a little bit bright and this is the image that I'm looking at. So I'm going to bring the sky down a little bit. It's important to remember not to have the sky darker than the water because that just looks stupid so I want to bring that down it's hardly even noticeable on the screen just now but it will be soon so I'm going to take a picture just now it's 25th of a second 125 ISO f18 What I want to do is I want to slow everything down. So what I'm going to do is slide in a nice big stopper. Well, it's actually an equivalent, but it's this one here. 
and then we'll see how we get on with that. And I'm going to have to wipe it clean so I'm going to put the camera down. One big black filter, sliding it into there. And that's going to adjust the time quite considerably. 31, 32, 33, 34, 48, 49, 50. And we'll see how that goes. So the plan shoot was actually to uh, photograph the lawn tree. <laughs> but reality is, we started to photograph something far more interesting, which is an art student come baker who is baking bread on an open fire on Loch Lomond side in January. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy with some of the images I'm taking. I've got a lovely lead line here to the hills beyond with the rain coming in behind. And a roaring fire in the foreground. And I'm, I'm actually pleased with what I'm getting and it's not what we came for, which is, which is good. It's nice to get out and do something different. And again, accessibility. And for the There's the car park, very accessible. Oh. Don't want we might have that on tape, I don't know. <laughs> so we've tried to do a couple of pictures of the tree and it's a bit rainy out there and the lens keeps getting covered in spotlets of water and the filters get covered and I was fighting with that. I'm not sure what I'm going to actually produce. But as I pointed out, I'm not sure I'm not sure how well whether how good the sound quality was out there because it's windy. But there was a a young lass out there and she was baking bread on an open fire and uh, she's part of an art uh, she's doing an art degree but she's also a baker so she's, I think she's mixing the two together there but we went over and had a wee chat and took photographs of her and we'll show a couple of the photographs next because I, I think they came out quite well and it's good to get out and do go and, do, go and try and do what you want to do and if that doesn't really work out Something. find something else and that's exactly what we did and I think we'd probably find the better pictures of the day are from the impromptu unexpected image of someone baking and she's putting the fire out just now baking on an open fire with shorts and t-shirt yeah in shorts and t-shirt in January and it's freezing <laughs> I'll just swing the camera around and you can see there's the lone tree out there as I said not in the water which we expected it to be in the water but the view out there is quite nice I'm gonna move my hat because that's kind of reflecting there we go it's very nice yep I'm quite uh, quite happy to get a day out again and there's the fire you probably can't see it with this camera which is putting the fire out and it's time because I'm warbling again to head off and see if there's something else to photograph on this little trip to the one tree. Bye for now. So a final image taken down at Loch Lomond Shores with a paddle steamer and looking up Loch Lomond. Unfortunately trying to get the settings right we've lost the light. There was a nice hill lit up i think it's actually ben lomond but it's not quite as good as it was so i've been doing a 30 second exposure in fact i think it's still doing that 30 second exposure and it'll be the last of the day and we'll see how that goes so let's have a wee look Okay, and the noisy here is my stupid dog there chasing a swan. 
Come on, back in. It was woof, woof, woofing at this one. Come on.